You're shiftless. You're weak. And your voice sounds like someone strangling a, a walrus. A very stupid walrus with halitosis. Maybe it's because of all that ice in your lungs. Or all that ice and something else, huh? Some scotchity scotch scotch, maybe. That's what we need. It's the wrong tummy. Yes, sit right down to my belly. Oh, you're hiding all the donuts. You might want to get a shot of that. He's gotten into the... that. Tim's having like very quickly. For the broadcast. Ron Burgundy. How do you like that? That's a good crawler, by the way. Thank you very much. Delicious. Thank you. And we uh, welcome... Resplendent in a tartan kilt. Yes, indeed. Mr. Ron Burgundy. I won't even ask if you're wearing anything underneath those kilts or that kilt. Well, you know, the usual answer is you're not. You're but, not. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm wearing a, well, a usual Speedo. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh, very yes. nice. Yeah, thong, I think, would be the thong. Lovely, lovely yes. thong. Yes. Ron, we welcome you to our uh, broadcast booth and to Thank Winnipeg. You, and, Thank you so and much. And we are impressed that you would choose to come and visit us. Uh, what, what brought you here to well, our Roar of the Rings? I was stuck at the airport. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I had uh, 12 hours to kill. They oh, yes. said, this is going on. Oh, very good. So... I got the city bus, and here I am. Well, <laughs> yes. And they took you right here. Let's just bring everybody up. Our feature game is uh, Jones against Carey. And Jennifer Jones with a steal of one in the second end. She has now the one nothing lead. And once again, it'll be Chelsea Carey out of the Fort Rouge Curling Club that does have the last rock. She'll have the hammer stone playing the red, the yellow rocks. So are you familiar with this game? Uh, I, I am... I am very familiar. I was the only one down in San Diego that used to cover curling. Uh, we'd have a, uh, a whole half hour on the weekends dedicated to curling. Uh, didn't have a lot of viewers. But, uh, but I love it. I, was, I said to you, I, mean, I just don't know where this ranks. I mean, the legend that you are, the icon. Where do you rank this appearance on TSA? Well, let's see. I've covered, uh, I've covered a lot of a lot of coronations of kings and queens of How are you guys? have covered uh, many different things, but I have to say the these things are useless. The feeling, <laughs> yeah, well, they, actually don't do they are. Glenn just told me, push it hard, and then you worked a little bit with uh, Glenn Howard and his team, and this was your first stone. Look at this. There it is, and Stay you right made there. the twelve Stay. foot. You didn't even slide. No. That was my goal. I was trying to make it to the 12 foot, and look what happened. You passed a stone. Very nice. I did. I did. <laughs> so uh, you guys can use that. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. That's right. That's right. Um, and your your brother, Russ. Yes. I don't know about that guy. <laughs> I don't know about that guy. Yeah. He's, he's a, not a good looking man. Oh, no. But one of the best to one ever of, play this game. One of the legends. Yes. Goes without saying. Four Canadian, four World Championships. Um, and you you guys aren't even Canadian, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you immigrated yeah. from Albania. <laughs> that was in my notes. <laughs> was I wrong? I wanted to curve with them one year because it would have been a little easier to get out of yeah. Albania than Canada. Once again, it's a wide open end. Jennifer Jones is sitting the one T line in the 12 foot as we play second stone. So Jill Officer. Of course, Jennifer Jones mentioned to me backstage uh, that she thinks they have no chance of winning. Okay. So why <laughs> she's already throwing in the towel? I wonder why she's here. Then. So I guess she's just pride. Yes. Yeah. She might be a little nervous now. Here, Maybe guys, she is. Maybe, Maybe you have some this. tips for the people out there that might be a little nervous. How do you calm down and prepare when you're going to your broadcast? Uh, well, I I usually do a lot of uh, yoga, or as it's correctly pronounced, yoga. Um, <laughs> A lot of breathing, a lot of meditation, um, and then when all else fails, you just have a sip of scotch or, <laughs> or an entire bottle. Uh, not sure. I, I wouldn't recommend it no, to, maybe to, not. to these athletes. It's a little slippery out there. Exactly, exactly. Houston Foster. I have one quick question. Second. Yes. Is, yeah. is Tim Horton a sponsor of this? It is. Okay. That's, I thought it was just some guy named Tim Horton who just wrote his name all over the ice. No, no, no. Okay. And those are crawlers that you're enjoying? They were delicious. They were Tim Horton. Okay. Yeah.